Oh, let me see it a little bit. Let's see what I'm working with here. Now I'm actually throwing a chatterbait, three eighths chatterbait, uh, six foot ten medium power fast action. It's monofilament. And normally I like to fish my moving baits, especially chatterbaits and lipless crankbaits with a six gear reel. But this is a high speed. That high speed with the monofilament is going to help me avoid a lot of these nasty weeds and stuff. I'm sure you can see a little bit right here, but you can't see all of it. So this will definitely help. See, that's another thing, too, is I always got my, uh, well, a rod for a bottom bait. You can see I got this Corrado 7'2 medium heavy power fast action. And you see how uh, the top of the cork is worn down i'm about to change this chatterbait but see how this is how it should be and this gets worn this is the only rod i've had that happen to and i've even had people ask me forgive me about the wind uh, why don't i use the high-end gear anymore like the loot the g loomis and the high-end shimano i do i used the metaniums bantams nrx's imx's e6x's and all that stuff for like three four years that's all i did was fish with it so i said this year 2020 especially with everything that's going on I'm going to beat the bank with either mid-grade or some low-grade setups. Now, for like spinning and stuff on like St. Clair, I still did the high-end. But if you guys are wondering, I still have all the high-end gear. I'm going to fish with it either at the end of this year or next year. I simply just wanted to switch for a while and get a more a, a better variation in content. That, that's a big part of my channel. But anyway, let's take out the box for the... The bladed jigs and moving baits. I think I'm going to switch to a, some type of green pumpkin. Yeah, green pumpkin or white. I think I'm going to... Do I want a rage blade or a jackhammer? I want a jackhammer. Got here. Is this a... Yep. Green pumpkin, 3 8 And then I also have another green pumpkin. I have a bunch of different chatter baits. Good baits. Here, get that one taken off. There we go. I didn't even realize I had one. Pike, man. I didn't even realize it. Here. Let's go back. Oh, what are you doing? Bite. That was for sure a bite. I felt that. He's running right at me. He was hooked in the tongue, but I got it out without hurting him. He fought really good.
Oh, get ready, get ready. I feel that. No, you don't. No, you don't. Listen, that's not how we do things. I hooked that one a lot better than the last one. There you go. You think you were gonna get away with that? I got you. Skinny. Uh, the last fish was probably, I don't know, a pound and a half. This is probably, probably a pound, pound and a half. It's still fun. Maybe we can get another. Shimano Corrado. Uh huh. Uh, this is, I think, $180. Wow, man, that's a good reel. Yeah, I've got $80 ones, $100, 180 200 400 600 you name it. They're nice. Which ones do you like best? It, it depends on what I'm doing, but I mean, if I want a good all purpose rod, like $100 shimano slx or a corrado k for like 180 is great uh the sitica used to be 150 you got the casitas that used to be like what 100 120 uh i mean if i'm going to be throwing moving baits and really like beating it up i'll pick like a hundred dollar reel yeah now if i'm going to be fishing like finesse like with spinning or casting or Wow, or tubes or bottom baits or jigs in deep water, like offshore football jigs, plastics, tubes, you name it, then I'm gonna go for a more expensive one. Yeah. But do you need it? No, it's all personal preference. You know what I mean? Have you gone any other places fishing this year? Oh, of course, Lake St. Clair, a bunch of other places. Oh, did you? Yeah, I travel within state. Oh. Mm-hmm. How, how was your luck in Lake St. Clair? Amazing. Was it? The, the whole year's been good. What did you go for, walleye? Smallmouth. Smallmouth? Mm hmm Yep. Is that pretty much what you uh, fish for, is bass? Yes, bass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yep. What are you using Lake St. Clair? Uh, Lake St. Clair? Well, it depends on the time of the year, the depth, where the fish are, but jerk baits, tubes, crank baits, uh, drop shots, a topwater, a Ned rig. But what is my favorite uh, tube and a jerk bait? Because not only do I catch fish consistently i seem to catch bigger fish with the tube oh, yeah. yeah but when it gets like hot i'll throw like a drop shot or a ned rig or i'll just fish for something else or wait until it's not hot anymore invested in fishing, man. yeah absolutely i love fishing <laughs>